Hi, it's John. This is the second video I'm doing about the book that I'm writing, How to Be the Greatest Networker in the World. And I'm just really trying out various ideas, things that I'm doing with my team and things that I want to play with for the book and showing them to you and see what comes back. Uh, so I'll read you the part that picks up where we left off last time. And this is called The Prospecting Conversation. For most network marketers, he told me, the prospecting conversation is the most important conversation of all. That makes sense, of course. Creating customers and bringing in business partners only comes out of successful prospecting, and prospecting is always and in all ways a conversation. But there's a problem for most network marketers that sends them down the wrong track right from the start, he said. And that's what they have in mind when they think of what prospecting is all about. And most people's idea of what prospecting really is is so wrong-headed that they're stopped before they begin. Tell me more, I said. No, you tell me, he said, putting it right back in my lap. I was so used to his doing this, it didn't faze me a bit. When you started, what did you know about prospecting, he asked me. Not much, I said, except the thought of it paralyzed me. He laughed and asked, what was it that immobilized you so? Well, I was told that if I wanted to be truly successful, I had to talk to ten people a day, and there was no way I was doing that. "'Because?' he asked, drawing the word out. "'I didn't know what to say,' I told him. "'Say about what?' he asked. "'About the business opportunity or about the products,' I answered. "'Ah, good,' he said. "'Perfect,' he added. "'So, there you were, a brand-new home business owner, "'didn't know diddly about your products "'or how to explain what network marketing was really about,' Yet out you had to go and sell something you didn't know anything about. Like that? he asked me. Like that, I told him, shaking my head at the absurdity of it. Looking back, it seems an awfully stupid situation. That's because it was, he said, awfully stupid. He leaned back in his chair, shaking his head and smiling, then quickly shifted to the edge of the sofa and leaning forward said, This, what you experienced, is one of the biggest raisons d'etre for the lovely attrition rate in network marketing. A business model so brilliant and easy to do, we should have 90 plus percent of all our people succeeding, but instead we enjoy a 90 percent failure rate. So, lead with the products or lead with the opportunity, he said, looking over at me with a questioning expression, so I knew he was really asking me. You taught me the answer to that, I said. Neither one. You lead with the relationship. Bright boy, he said. And had you known that, if what you were asked to do back in the beginning was simply to go out and have ten conversations each day where you got into relationship with people, forget selling products, set your biz up aside, just get out and about on Facebook, on the phone, live and in person, and have a conversation for relationship. Do you think you'd have been disabled and debilitated, crippled and incapacitated, torpified, love that word, as you were? No, I said and smiled. That I would have been willing and able to do. Exactly, he exclaimed. Part of the challenge that goes on with people is having these conversations about the business, having these conversations about the product, when in fact what they should be having the conversations about is the other person, who and how they are, listening for their values, asking questions to learn what goes on in their lives, what's important to them. That's the key, that kind of conversation. If you keep having those conversations to a day, day after day that you work your business. You can't help but succeed. I'll explain more about how you do that, but it's really hang in there, get into those conversations, and keep them going with people.